Motor City Sports Talk. We in the building. The Detroit Lions uh, cut Cornelius Washington, a free agent. I think they signed last season. They saved them almost three million dollars. We in the building. One part nation. What it do? You know what it is, man. And um, uh, they signed some free agents as well too. You know, nine factors: Marcus Cromartie, Sterling Moore, an offensive lineman, another guy um, trying to save cap or whatever it may be. They may be. They may about to make a, a move. Maybe sign a veteran corner. Uh, maybe it has to be another defensive line move they may be making. Maybe they're anticipating that um, a veteran, a really, really uh, good veteran that may be able to help them this season, maybe get cut as the roster cuts approach in preseason, all right? Um, but Cornelius Washington, man, he was able to play inside and outside. He had versatility, um, you know, uh, not only just versatility that he had, you know, he gave them depth, you know, and they don't have much depth. They got rid of Keem Smith or Cornelius Washington. Um, so they must be, all right, like I said, you know, they must be looking to bring in some more help. May it be a number two corner, and it has to be another defensive lineman they may be, try, may be trying to bring in. Hopefully it's Jonathan Hankins, the Detroit product, the Ohio State product as well, too. Um, but, uh, like, Washington ain't never jumped off the film. He really never got a chance to play. He was real, real injured last year. And when he played, he didn't make a lot of impact plays. And he hasn't played this preseason, but he's been practicing with the first and second team, and they just cut him, so... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just like, you know, you gotta be moves coming behind this. You know, what I'm saying there has to be moves that be has to come behind this. Excuse me, real quick, cut my windows up. It has to be moves that have to come behind this. All right, um, uh, maybe you're on the defensive line. Maybe they might bring in another defensive lineman that's out there. Like I said, Jonathan Hankins out there. Um, you know, maybe they're looking to bring in a veteran corner. You know, and maybe they waited for, for somebody to get cut or also. You might, you know, see a Detroit Lions trade, you know, coming coming up, man. They got some running backs they can get rid of. They can wheel and deal. They got some coveted young receivers they can wheel and deal as well as far as the Jace Billingsies or, or or the other uh, Brandon Powell and a lot of different guys. You never know how they're feeling, though. But um, like I said, Washington never made a significant impact with the Lions. You know, he never was really healthy enough to make that happen. He was on a nine uh, football injury-related li- list this year, but he's, he was, you know, practicing a little bit. But... Um, this kind of comes as a shocker because you don't cut guys when you don't have depth, you know. Um, cause Zettel, uh, uh, Kerry Hyder, Ziggy, you know, um, the Sean Hand that's gonna play inside outside, you know, Robinson, you know, uh, Williams. They don't even have depth at the, nowhere across that line do they have depth enough to cut anybody off that defensive line. They didn't even have depth enough, enough depth to get rid of King Spence. You know what I'm saying? But they did. So it got to be some type of plan or or some ace in the hole that Bob Quinn got up his sleeve, man, to bring in some defensive line help, to bring in a cornerback that really can get in there and start and be efficient as a number two corner, as a quick patch of plug. And also, it could be a case of that maybe they depended on Deshaun Hand to come in and deliver. Maybe they got some young guys they feel that's better than Cornelius Washington. So... You know, now now we trying to now we we really trying to see see and trying to see where you know where their plans are where their heads are. But the Lions are a really really top secret CSI type of a uh, organization, man. CIA, excuse me, type of organization, and it hasn't worked out with them being secretive. It hasn't translated into wins or franchise prestige. But I don't understand you want to move in silence, and um and that's how they want to do it. But like I said, man. Um, I don't understand. I don't. I'm, I don't understand this move unless this moves behind this, and we'll see. You know, hopefully the moves behind this ain't bringing in more, ain't bringing in Marcus Cromartie and another guy and other guys they bringing in. But um, hopefully it's, it's better moves and maybe a power move may be coming. Maybe they might try to make him run at Khalil Mack. You know, save with some cap space. Uh, maybe they might try to bring in a veteran corner, Dominic Rogers Cromartie, um, or um, um, uh, Kayvon Webster, or. Um, Adam Jones, you know, maybe they're looking to acquire a, a veteran that may be getting cut pretty soon. Um, so, I mean, I'm not going to go into a panic mode. I don't think it's really reason to panic about uh, this this cut or whatever. But I do know we really, really thin in the defensive line. We didn't address the defensive line like we thought we, we like the fans and the media, new media, old media thought they should have in the draft. And, and that's something that you they going to have to live with, man. If they don't address and, and really – Make a power move in front, uh, along their front four. You know, that's what you're going to hear all year. It's going to be the same thing you heard all year from Lions fans and media aficionados is 
that, oh, the Lions didn't address the running back position. And, and look how now it's coming back to bite them. And Bob Quinn, he don't want to get a reputation for that. He don't want to have a reputation of, you know, having uh, blatant holes on, on his roster, having big holes on his roster, you know what I'm saying? Having major holes on his roster, he he ignoring and ignoring them, and then waiting until they become uh, a really really noticeable big big blatant problem, and then he only gonna fix it when it, it, it's a major. It needs to be a major fix. You know what I'm saying? It's like around the house. You know, you keep patching up an issue, keep patching up an issue. You know you gotta fix it, and then you get mad when the issue becomes major when you could have just fixed it and took time and took a little bit of money and fixed it. But you waited to become a major problem. Now it's a high price issue or high price problem around your house. Same thing. Bob Quinn don't want to get a reputation for that. Last year was the running backs. This year, it's look like it's going to be the defensive line. I hope he got a power move or a trick up his sleeve, okay, to, to fix this defensive, this front four and his front seven situation. You know what I'm saying? I hope he has a big, big trick up his sleeve. If not, you're going to, he's going to hear it. You know going to hear it. He's going to hear the same SOL, same old Lions. You know, cool. Are you drinking a Lions Honolulu Blue Kool-Aid with no sugar? You're going to hear all the same sayings that he's been facing for, 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 for you know, the Lions general manager and coach have been facing since 93 or 91 or whenever, 91, they last playoff win. So if you don't want to hear that same thing, he better pull a Houdini trick out his hat or a trick out, uh, out his sleeve. Because if he don't pull that trick out his sleeve or out his hat, I don't want to hear it. You know, he deserve that. all the backlash that he got coming. And on top of if uh, Matt Patricia isn't the guy and he doesn't exceed er, uh, excel early, he's going to hear it. But Motor City Sports Talk, hopefully you check out the new description. We got all links to social media for you guys that's on mobile, can't copy and paste. Just click the link and take you to our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you want to email me, video collab, a business venture, the business email is in the description as well. If you want to donate, the PayPal link is there to donate because I do grind. And um, I'm not getting monetized anytime soon. I've been on application and review for two months. So it is what it is. We gone.